Hey there, this is Sean Donohoe and welcome to another IMSE TV and in today's episode I want to really tackle some of the questions I've been getting about Google Panda, Penguin, Gecko, Elephant, Rhino, Orangutan, Marmoset, whatever animal Google is throwing at you these days. There's a lot of changes going on with the search engines. So what I want to do today is really tackle some of those changes and what you can do to really work around those changes and get back your positions that you may have lost and really tackle what is going to happen in the future and so you can kind of future proof your sites from losing any rankings and really take advantage of this situation because a lot of people are losing ranking which means your competition is going by the wayside so the information you'll get today that you put into practice today will help you get back your rankings accelerate past your competition and take advantage of these changes because every problem presents an opportunity. That's one thing I really want to kind of uh, put in your mind and it really is a mindset thing here but it will help you achieve greater traffic, greater rankings and convert that new traffic into sales or conversions for whatever you want to do. So what we're going to do is cover several tips and we've kind of got a new format with IMSC TV, if you might have noticed, and some very cool features, and I'll tell you about those at the end. So let's get started with tip number one of how you can survive and kick the ass of Google's little zoo. Okay, tip number one is very powerful. Check for broken links on your website. Now, if you're using WordPress, which is the platform I recommend, there's lots of plugins that will help you with this. Funnily enough, there's one out there called Broken Links Checker. And if you look on the plugins, if you go to your admin panel, go to plugins and uh, do a search, you will find that. Now it's a very cool little plugin. What it will do is it will disable any broken links it finds and report them to you so you can address them. Now another plugin I use, which is very cool, is called Smart 404. Now what happens is if Google comes across a link or someone else comes across a link that is no longer valid, what happens is it will go and find the nearest post that matches that term that, or you know, that, that might match that link and present that to the user instead. So you don't have any more broken links. The cool thing with this is it also sets what's called a 301 redirect. Now by doing this, the cool stuff is that that tells the search engines, hey, this broken link has permanently changed and here is its new location. So that will help you a lot because Google really is now focusing on user experience and value. So what we're trying to do here is do a little spring cleaning to clean up our website and that leads into tip number two. Now tip number two is clean up the crap. Now here's the thing and I'm guilty of this myself. I had a lot of old posts, they're kind of outdated information because the internet is continuously changing. So I had an old SEO article that was really out of date and irrelevant. So what I did is I got rid of that article and I redirected it to a new article. You can do that with all sorts of different plugins. Um, one that I like is called Page Links 2. That's for WordPress again. And what you can do with that, if you find an old article or something that's not quite relevant, you can actually then tell it to link to a new article manually. Also, if you're doing things like auto posting, auto blogging, again, Google has really clamped down on that. They don't want to see crap in their index. So if you're republishing other people's content, syndicating other people's content, that could be a problem. You really want to focus on unique, valuable content that is aimed at the end user. Because Google is doing really, they're, they're revamping their website in a lot of ways and their search results to try and provide maximum quality and value to their end users. So if, if a user is doing a search and they don't find something that's relevant or they find 10 articles that say the same thing, that's not a good user experience. And that's basically the core of Google's business. So they want to make sure that you are providing the best value and it's in your interest too. Because if you provide good value, people are going to naturally link to you people are naturally going to want to use you and come back to you as a resource and a value resource. So if you have some targeted content that is unique, provides a lot of value, you're going to do a lot better with that. So clean up your website, get rid of a lot of the crap that may be on there, and that will help you not only recover, but also future-proof your website because that is really 
where Google is going in the future. Okay, tip number three is keep backlinking. Now, most people are kind of got a little worried there thinking, oh, backlinks, oh, I'm doing the wrong thing. No, keep backlinking, but change your backlinking strategy just a little bit. You wanna make sure that you are creating high value links and varied across the board. Now, some people out there will blast the heck out of their website and wonder why it gets penalized. They blast all sorts of low quality links. The days of that have long gone. You need to, at the top level of links, if you imagine it like a pyramid where your site is at the top, the first level needs to be high quality links. You can do that with Web 2.0 sites. You can do that with uh, social bookmarking, uh, social uh, footprints. We'll talk about that in a few minutes. And basically you want to create at the top level, a lot of high quality links. And that is very important. Now below that, you can link to these level one properties with what we call a link pyramid, and you can blast the bejesus out of those, that's fine. You can do a lot with that, and that's great because that level one protects your website from all of that low quality backlinking, but that's fine. And you really need to boost every single page on your website that has value. So don't just promote your homepage, promote every page on your website because the more fingers you have out there in the search engines, the better it's gonna be for you. Now the next tip is kind of related to the last one we just talked about. Vary your anchor text. Now the anchor text is the text that appears in your link. Now a lot of people say, for example, I had a site about acne treatment. I might have a lot of links that have acne treatment in the anchor text. Well, here's the problem with that, especially with uh, the Penguin update. That can cause a lot of problems because they can see that that's artificial manipulation of the search engines. And you know, we've, you've heard the phrase SEO and SEM. Now, SEM stands for search engine marketing. Really what we're doing here is search engine manipulation. And Google wants to try and see, make sure that you're doing this as naturally as possible. Now you can still work within this framework, but I do suggest you vary that anchor text up a lot. Include some related terms. For example, acne cures, if I'm using acne treatment as an example, home acne remedies, uh, ways to cure acne. Mix it up a lot because Google knows when they get to your page what the core keyword you're gonna be ranking for, but it's good to get those other related terms in there as well. Also, don't just use keyword loaded text, mix it up with other terms. For example, click here for more information, learn more, click here and find out more about acne treatments. You really want to vary it and keep it as generic as possible. And we found with our experiments about 50-50 ratio of anchor text that's keyword related and then generic ones as well has really helped keep things looking as natural as possible. We've done a lot of experiments on this, and certainly with the Penguin update, that really has helped significantly. Now, this next tip is actually going to help you not only get better rankings, but also make more money. It, and this is don't get greedy with your ads. Now, a lot of people will have the title of their post and then an ad right below it. Uh, that can cause a problem because Google wants to see what's happening above the fold. Remember, they're all about user experience. So you want to make sure, first of all, that when you, you're doing your ad placement, try and position your ads top left because that's where the eyeball strikes first. And then make sure that the user doesn't have to scroll down because anything that they have to scroll down to see is called below the fold, okay? And Google really wants to make sure that the user is getting the best experience and making sure that they, when they get to your page, they can see exactly that your page is relevant to what they're searching for. So part of that user experience is making sure you, first of all, keep your customer. You really wanna make sure your customer's engaged. So you wanna make sure that they can see, okay, this is what I'm looking for, this has the information I'm searching for, and then they'll continue to read. That's great. What I do suggest, and this will help you increase your revenue, is at the bottom of every post, you have some lead in to a call to action because what you're doing is attraction marketing. You see, ads in general are interruption marketing. You're watching the Super Bowl or your favorite television show, what happens? Right as something interesting happens, they cut for a commercial. That's interruption marketing. What we're trying to do here is attraction marketing. You've provided value, something useful, and as they've gone down the page and they've read and they've engaged with what you're telling them, you then lead into something that say, hey, if you like this, you, if you like this article, you may love this. 
and then make a suggestion for some sort of ad or call to action, you're going to get a lot better conversions with that. And that's really the way that marketing is going. So we'll talk about attraction marketing in another IMSC very soon, but that's an example of how you can increase your revenue, increase your customer retention, and then engage that customer to basically align yourself with them and work with you and take your recommendations. Now, this next tip is work with Google. Now, here's the thing. We've, we've already said that Google is all about user value here, that they're trying to increase the, uh, what they do, how they do it, and making you know the user experience as valuable as possible. You should be thinking along the same lines. Now, one way you can help yourself is we're really, you can't fight Google anymore. Okay, this is, a, the sad fact is that you can, well, no, okay, so you can't fight Google. Don't fight Google. Let's put, let's put it this way. Or if you're going to do it, do it in a very smart way. Because Google is really, they're, they're the 800 pound gorilla. They have 80 to 90% of all search engine traffic that will be generated to your site. Everyone uses Google. You can't deny this. And if you try and manipulate and go crazy with, uh, you know, trying to do any black hat, gray hat, or any crazy kind of marketing, ultimately you're going to lose and that traffic is going to disappear. So be smart about it. We're going to be ninjas, search engine ninjas. And that means, well, kind of a little bit of espionage, infiltration here. Work within their framework. Sign yourself up for Google Analytics. Sign yourself up for Google Webmaster Tools. Use the tools and information they provide because they're there to help you. Then once you have that information, you can then build up trust with Google because they see you've got nothing to hide with your um, analytics, your Google Webmaster Tools, your sitemap submissions, and everything else. And they'll tell you exactly how they see your website which is great because then you can use that information to boost all your other stuff in a smart way, including building backlinks in, you know, to EDU properties, for example, uh, authority links at your first level. What happens below there? Google's none the wiser. We don't care about that. They don't care about that. You can do all sorts of cool stuff once you're on the inside track, and that's where you become a ninja. So keep that in mind as well. Work within their sandbox and then, uh, be a little smart and be, be a search engine ninja in that regard. Now, the last tip today is don't panic. Here's the thing. Google is going to continuously change what it does. It's continuously looking for ways to improve. And they don't owe us any favors, okay? They are driving traffic to us if we are relevant, if we provide value. So you've got to be flexible in what you do and again, take precautions to protect your site, but look to what they're looking for. Work with what they want to provide, which is user experience. And if you are presenting a great user experience and that's cool, then guess what happens? Your site is going to increase in rankings. You're going to get more traffic and that traffic is going to be much more targeted. Look to things like your social footprint. For example, encourage and engage your customers and say, hey, if you like this post, please share it, like it, put it on Twitter, and Google Plus it. Work with all of those different things and encourage engaging your customers. Encourage them to give feedback at the end of your posts. Ask them a question. Hey, do you agree? Do you disagree? Leave a comment below. Engage your customers. What's happened is Google's going to see all of that happening and again, know that you have more authority than a lot of other people who are not applying these tips that we're talking about here today. I want you to succeed. I want you to accelerate past your competition who is not engaged with these IMSE TV sessions or not part of our inner circle or not watching what we talk about on this website on the inner circle. You really have to take these tips, apply them and magnify what you do so that you can succeed. That's why we do these TV episodes and that's why we have all this information at your disposal. Because you have taken action, you have engaged with us, we want to reciprocate and provide you value. That's why we do these videos, that's why we have these great articles and all this great training. In fact, below me you'll see a link to some free training. You really should jump on that. Because again, this is more value that we're giving to you that you can use all these techniques and tactics that we talk about 
And uh, that free training has some really great stuff that will help you kind of elaborate on some of the stuff we've talked about today and really take you to the next level. And it's absolutely free. But that's us engaging with you. That's a prime example of what we do to apply some of the tips we've talked about here today. This is engagement. So again, there is a link below me there. You can sign up for that free training and uh, have fun with that because hey, with some awesome stuff there. And we really want to help you take your business to the next level. And even if you're a new marketer, advanced marketer, there's something in there for everyone. But I'm getting on, a, on a, off on a tangent because we're kind of wrapping up now. Uh, those are all the tips I want to give you here today. And yeah, let's talk about the new format of IMSC TV. Now, what we're doing here is pretty cool. You've seen the new intro sequence compared to the old ones. But as you can see, there's also a lot of buttons below me as well. Here's the cool thing. If you want to, you can download this video, watch it offline and apply these. You build up a little library of stuff. You can also, I'm giving you permission to take this and embed it on your website. You can take this right now, embed it on your website, provide value to your customers. I'll allow you to do that. We do all the hosting and streaming. It doesn't cost you anything, but you get some excellent free content to share with your customers. We also have a money-making opportunity, and you'll see that below me as well. I'd like you to click on that. If you're a marketer and want to make a little extra money, guess what? You can make money with this video. So you'll see that button below me. Go click on that, and I'll tell you more about that as well. We also, I want you to go and share this, because if you got value with this video today, you'll see all those share buttons there. Go put it on Facebook. Go put it on Twitter. Let other people know about this, because we want to help as many people as possible. I'd also encourage you to go Google Plus it. Let other people know in your circles, in, on your Facebook pages, and in Twitter. Let them know about what we've got going on here. Because here, we want to help you. We want to help your customers. And if they get value from what we're talking about here, that makes you look like a rock star. So go ahead, Facebook, share this or like it. We've also got um, our uh, IMS, well, our Facebook page. You could become a fan on that. We'll let you know about all the inside stuff we've got going on there. Some very cool stuff indeed. So go like this on Facebook. Join the uh, facebook.com forward slash I am success center. Tweet this, Google plus it, and I will see you in next week's IMSE TV. Take care.